Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone Captain. Today we're going to be talking about the newly coming up release of iOS 8. And I know a lot of you are excited about it as well as I am. And we're going to talk about some of the features that we think we might see. Uh, you can be your own judge. We've seen a lot of mock-ups, a lot of things that are uh, floating around the web. So let's go ahead and get started. The code name for this is called Okemo, O-K-E-M-O. Uh, I don't know a great deal about why that is. It just that's how they refer to it in code. Apple does, and we probably can expect to see Apple show off iOS 8 at the traditional WWDC as they have always done in the past in June, and then thereafter they will go on to release to developers and and then on to the customer thereafter sometime in September. And this tends to be Apple's pattern that they've uh, followed for, for uh, the last few iOS releases, I'll say it that way. Uh, iOS 8 firmware is thought to bring many new great features and several refined features of the iOS 7 firmware. So let's go ahead and talk about the different features that, that we're going to see. They're going to be in no particular order. Uh, some of the updates we're probably going to see, the first one we'll share with you is, is from the maps. Uh, they're expecting that we're going to have a better back-end data for that. What that means is if you are riding them, you can get better information from buses and subways in metropolitan areas. And if you're like at a big park, uh, amusement park or museum or somewhere like that, you can actually get directions along the inside of that park. So if you were meeting up with a group or were going to meet somebody at a certain spot, then you all could refer to this and find your way to each other, which would be awesome to have. Now, a couple more apps that are coming to iOS 8 that really is no surprise, but I hadn't really thought of it, is the text edit and the preview app. Now, they're saying that there won't be any uh, editing abilities on the device, but you'll be able to open up your documents from the cloud or push documents to other apps such as pages or iBooks and things of that nature. Another feature we've seen from uh, iOS 7.1 already is CarPlay, but this is supposed to be in greater detail and more features coming in iOS 8 which there's not a great deal out there on it right now, but we'll see what iOS 8 brings for CarPlay. If you're fortunate enough to have a car that uses this uh, iOS firmware, then you're right up at the, at the top anyway. And Apple is, is thought to be simplifying the notification center by removing or deleting one of the columns uh, and going back to that two column or not going back, but going to a two-column notification center, which would be awesome in my book. I really never did use that three-column method anyway. Um, it's just something I never did get in a habit of. And we also could see an iTunes radio app, standalone app, in iOS 8, which would be great for music lovers. And it seems, to, uh, you know, iTunes radio is... Uh, is usable right now but it seems like when you have to open another app to get to another app or easy to use I should say so if it were just right there on the springboard you know you already get it and see it I think it would be a lot better feature and much more usability just overall and they're wanting to get the advertisers more involved with this standalone app and I think that's going to persuade them to go ahead and do this with the standalone feature. Our uh, addition to iOS 8 is going to be the Health Book app. Now, it's going to have a passbook type interface with stacks of cards in it, and you can tap each card for a different category, and users will be able to rearrange these cards however they want to under the settings. And the cards are going to represent things such as blood pressure, heart rate, blood sugar, weight, calories, all that good stuff to keep and help you be more healthy, which is something we all should be more aware of. The 
the three cards in the health book app, like I just said, are going to be activity, weight, and nutrition. And that'll make up the fitness part of the app. Uh, the health book will allow users to keep track of their blood pressure and heart rate, which we already talked about. And in addition to all the stats, you're also going to have a health book. In the health book, we'll have an emergency card. And in here, you'll have things such as your birthday, blood type, medical issues, anything that you might need to help in a emergency situation such as a car wreck or anything like that they'll know how to treat you if you have any allergies anything like that you can put that in there now it, it's thought that this health app is going to work in correlation some way with the new iWatch that there's we're hoping that we see but I don't know that we will but it only makes sense if you think uh, a watch is always on your wrist they could always get your heart rate probably blood pressure uh, and a number of things uh, just by the, the, the wristband being on, the, on your wrist. I mean, that's going to be a positive thing already. So guys, these are just some of the overall looks, features, some of the mock-ups we've seen. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit that thumbs up button. It really helps us out a great deal. Share this on Facebook and Twitter. We really appreciate that and keep coming back.